Hello and welcome. You're logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com, the only portal for news from India, UK, Canada, Punjab, and Gujarat in English, Punjabi, and Gujarati, with a list of well-established businesses and resources that you may need. I'm Sangram Singh Rathor, and today's headlines are: In India, Pakistani politician Imran Khan has called for a Kashmir dialogue, and the government has dismissed U.S. reports of China's activity in Doklam region. In UK, a drug dealer has been jailed for a sick man's murder. and medicinal cannabis products will be legalized in the country in punjab mla simrajit singh bens has allegedly received threats from canada and the aam aadmi party has removed sukpal singh khera as leader of the opposition stay tuned to indiantimesdaily.com and i'll be back with all the news that's important for you from india uk and punjab welcome back to indian times daily the top 10 headlines from india are Pakistani politician Imran Khan who declared victory in the recently concluded elections has said that Kashmir is the core issue between India and Pakistan which should be resolved through talks. He asserted that the blame game between the two neighbors which is detrimental to the subcontinent should stop. The government has strongly denied US media reports stating that China had resumed activity in the Doklam region. In August last year, India and China ended their 73 day standoff between their troops at Doklam. The standoff had strained ties considerably between the two countries. PM Narendra Modi has reaffirmed India's commitment to multilateralism, international trade and rules-based world order during the BRICS summit in Johannesburg. Modi also expressed India's desire to work with BRICS nations on the fourth industrial revolution and called for sharing the best practices and policies in the area. The government has extended the deadline for filing income tax return for the assessment year 2018 to 19. With this The assessees can file their income tax return for the financial year 2017 to 18 by 31st August without any penalty charges. Politician actor Hema Malini has said that she can become the chief minister any time but would rather be free to pursue other interests. The apparent reference was to the post in Uttar Pradesh now held by her party's Yogi Adityanath. The Supreme Court has slammed the Uttar Pradesh government This is for filing a draft report of the vision document on protecting and preservation of the Taj Mahal and asked whether the apex court was supposed to vet it. The West Bengal Assembly has passed a resolution to change the state's name from West Bengal to Bangla. The resolution was passed in the assembly and will now go to the Home Ministry for an audit. Most of North India on Thursday witnessed heavy rains which brought some relief from humidity but sent water levels to dangerous levels in many rivers. The downpour also led to water logging causing troubles for commuters. Two Indians are among this year's Raymond Magsaysay Award winners regarded as a nation version of the Nobel Prize. Bharat Watwani is a psychiatrist who works for mentally ill people living on the streets. Sonam Wangchuk, the real life Phung Suk Wangdu of Bollywood flick 3 Idiots, is selected for harnessing nature, culture and education for community progress. Bollywood actress Priyanka Chopra who has made her mark in Hollywood feels happy to find her name in Variety 500 most influential business leaders list. She says that she has miles to go but is grateful for every step we take. Stay tuned to Indian Times Daily as the news from UK and Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from UK are Drug dealer Adam Abdullah has been sentenced to life imprisonment for the brutal and sustained assault of an Indian origin man in Southampton in September last year. Abdullah has been found guilty of stabbing Kirpal Singh Sanghera. Home Secretary Sajid Javed has announced that specialist doctors in UK will now be able to legally prescribe cannabis derived medicinal products. Those that meet safety and quality standards are to be made legal for patients with an exceptional clinical need. Prime Minister Theresa May has declined to promise Wales that the money it receives from European Union now will be provided to them after Brexit. However, May reiterated the government's commitment to maintaining European Union funding levels of around 300 million pound a year for Welsh agriculture until 2022. UK's three main Jewish newspapers have published the same front page warning that a Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn led government will pose an existential threat to Jewish life. The move came amid anger over Labour's anti-Semitism code. The Environmental Audit Committee has warned that the current heat wave can become the new normal for the UK summers by 2040 because of climate change. Around 7,000 people may die annually in UK by 2050 if the government doesn't act quickly on the issue. Labour MP Fiona Onasanya has been charged with perverting the course of justice over allegedly lying about who was behind the wheel of a speeding vehicle. The 34-year-old faces two counts of perverting the course of justice. 
BBC will pay veteran singer Sir Cliff Richard £850 million towards his legal costs following his privacy case against the corporation. BBC had allegedly infringed Richard's privacy in its reporting. Head of Royal College of Nursing Janet Davies has apologised after nurses in England complained of being misled over a new pay deal. The union had said that they will receive a 3% pay rise this month as part of a new 3-year pay deal. One of the last living female World War II pilots, Mary Ellis, has died at the age of 101 at her home in the Isle of Wight. She was a member of the Air Transport Auxiliary who delivered Spitfires and bombers to the front line during the conflict. BBC's Newsnight has apologised for showing footage of Pakistan bowler Wasim Akram instead of his former teammate turned politician Imran Khan. The programme had opened with a piece about Khan's journey from cricket star to a potential Pakistani Prime Minister. I'll be back, stay logged on to IndianTimesDaily.com as the news from Punjab follows. Welcome back to Indian Times Daily. The top 10 headlines from Punjab are Lok Insaf Party MLA Simarjeet Singh Bens has claimed to have received a letter from Canada threatening him to stop the campaign against illegal drugs or face consequences. Bens has written to the Punjab Home Secretary seeking a probe. Aam Admi Party has removed Sukhpal Singh Khera as the leader of opposition in Punjab Assembly and appointed Dirba MLA Harpal Singh Chima in his place. No specific reason for replacing Khera has been given by the party. Women activists have requested the Vatican to advise Pope Francis to remove Jalandhar Bishop Franco Mulakkal. This is following a rape case lodged against him by a nun in Kerala last month. Chief Minister Amrinder Singh has said that the report on sacrilege cases will be tabled in next session of Vidhan Sabha. Singh also claimed that legal action will be taken against all those found guilty. SCD leader Sukhdev Singh Dhinsa has urged the government to pass a law to grant citizenship to Sikh and Hindu communities living in neighbouring countries. Dhinsa wants the centre to pass the citizenship bill which allows Hindu and Sikhs from neighbouring countries to settle in India. The SGPC has decided to help 325 Sikhs who were arrested by the army and police during Operation Blue Star. Earlier, only 40 Jodhpur detainees got compensation through a local court. The number of people suffering from cholera and diarrhea has crossed the 600 mark in Hoshiarpur district. 20 water samples taken from Kamalpur, Labnagar and Subhashnagar areas which were examined at a laboratory have failed. The Punjab and Haryana High Court has issued notice to the state and three private medical colleges after allowing a PIL on the issue of high fees being charged for MBPS course. It was filed on the basis of several reports featured in newspapers. Mercury levels have plummeted after rain lashed several parts of Punjab and Haryana. Chandigarh, the common capital of both states, also received showers. The Punjab police has taken a digital leap in its initiatives to provide better and efficient services to citizens. They have launched a crime and criminal tracking network and systems based on SMS service for complainants to bring transparency and efficiency in its services. This is the end of the news bulletin, but stay tuned to IndianTimesDaily.com as news from Bollywood is coming up next. And do visit the resources section on this portal to find the best Indo-UK businesses and resources from accounting firms to wedding planners in your city. All of us at Indian Times Daily wish that you have a great day. Actress Madhuri Dixit Nene, who is one of the judges at the dance reality show Dance Devani, had a fun night with another hit 90s actress Ravina Tandon. Madhuri in a pink embellished lehenga and Ravina in a black cold shoulder floor length gown danced and had fun on the sets of the show. Ravina made an entry on a cycle rickshaw that was decorated with flowers. Tandon even shared a photograph post the shoot on Instagram. She wrote, Must find time on Dance Diwani Dhamaka with Madhuri Dikshit Nene. Was so good to catch up after a long time. Work seemed like a picnic that day. While Madhuri shared the same picture on her social media too. The other judges on the show are filmmaker Shishan Ketan and Indian choreographer Tushar Kalia. Dance Diwani airs on Colors channel. Sahib Bivi or Gangster 3 has been making headlines since its trailer has released and created curiosity among the audiences. The fresh pairing Chitrangata Singh and Sanjay Dutt and their on-screen chemistry will be the highlights of the film. During the promotional event in Delhi, when Sanju Baba was asked about romancing with Chitrangada in the film, then the actress interrupted Sanjay Dutt and said, <laughs> You have no idea. Actually, I was a little bit hesitant. I was a little nervous. I was a little bit 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 nervous. I
we had to like look into each other's eyes and do the whole so i think ye idhar udhar kahin dekhte he would never look at me so ha he used to get very shy ye bilkul sahi bola aapne but why were you so shy of me i don't understand then sanju baba immediately come up with the reply and said main main shy nahi hu yaar lekin abhi jab main dekh raha hu ki koi वहाँ मेरे बगल में है और वो थोड़ा हिली हुई है तो फिर मुझे भी इतना बहुत हो जाता है वो वो तब उनकी तमीज है और वो तमीज है बिल्कुल डायलॉग तो यहाँ से Directed by Tigman Chudhulia the film will see Sanjay Dutt in a gangster role it is slated to release on 27th July